Listen, bro, y'all be eating up my Galaxy Tab videos. I swear to God. That's why I got to go and hit y'all with this video. So I got a Galaxy Tab video to go ahead and show you the top 10 things you can do with it. Because trust me when I tell y'all, there's a hell of a lot of stuff that you can do with this thing right here. And it don't even apply to just the Tab S9 Plus over here. It applies to all the Galaxy Tabs pretty much. Also, I'm going to be doing this with One UI 6 up on here. So you don't need One UI 6, but it's going to help y'all following along probably. But with that being said, man, y'all know what you got to do. Let's get it to it. All right, y'all, so we have the pull table of greatness. Now, let me just go ahead and show you some of the things that you can go and do with your Galaxy Tab. So I got a Tab S9 over here, and I got One UI 6, so you don't have to follow this exactly. You don't need to have a Tab S9, but it'll help. And also, like, I got One UI 6, so you don't need One UI 6, but if you can update to it, I would. So let me go show you these 10 things you can go and do to supercharge your Galaxy Tab, because I do this every single time I get a new one. All right, so to start off, one of the suggestions I got for y'all is to go ahead and download Sound Assistant from the Galaxy Store, or it's called Store right here. So you know how you can play multiple audios at the same exact time on windows or mac os or whatever so you can do the same exact thing on your galaxy tab or just samsung devices in general so you can see i got sound assistant over here it's already downloaded so you gotta look that up in the galaxy store it's not gonna be in the play store but just go ahead and look it up in the galaxy store and there it is right there now scroll down and you're gonna go ahead and look for this right here so it's gonna be multi-sound go ahead and click on that and you're going to get this whole list right here because it's going to be turned off. So what I do is I went ahead and turn on all the apps. So if I want to go and play Spotify and YouTube at the same exact time, which I do do sometimes, <laughs> I can go and do that. I swear to God, bro, I'm still 12 years old laughing at doo-doo. But yeah, as you can see there, I just turned that on. So now if I want to go to Spotify, let me go show you this real quick. So first up, let me actually do YouTube real quick because I'm not really trying to catch copyright. So let's go ahead and do this right here. Let's go and turn that up. And now let's go to Spotify. Let's go and do that. So you see that right there? They're both playing at the same exact time and YouTube is still playing. Now let me go back here. So you can see we got two audios at the same exact time. So why would you want to do that? It just depends on the project. So you can also go ahead and go back to Sound Assistant over here and let's go over to Customize Volume Panel. So that's going to be at the top. So go to Customize Volume Panel, turn that on, and then you can go ahead and leave it like that. So if I go and manage the volume, I can go ahead and control the apps individually right here. So I can make Spotify at like 40% and YouTube at 100%, for example. Overall, I just like having multi-sound. And also if you're editing a YouTube video, for example, on your Tab S9 or your Tab S8, whatever you got, you could go ahead and do that by go ahead and editing your video here in your audio and then you can play spotify in the background for example you, you see what i'm saying so reasons like that is why you might want to go ahead and do something like that so i'll leave a link down below so you can go and download the sound assistant app if you want to another hack i got for y'all is to go ahead and enable the reminder app so this don't just apply to galaxy tabs it's just samsung devices in general i don't know why samsung do this they mad corny with this i'm not going front but there's two ways you can go and do this so first way is you can go to the widgets so just swipe out of there like that just go to the widgets and then look for the reminder widget right over here there you go so it don't matter which one of these you do just go ahead and drag one of these to the home screen and then just drop it right there and now you can go to your reminders so yeah samsung has a reminders app that just it's just hidden when you first get it i don't know why but when you actually go ahead and add that widget you can go ahead and get to your reminders right there and also the other way you can do it is by using bixby so if i go ahead and hold on to this open reminder as you can see right there, you get to your reminders like this. So again, I don't know why Samsung hides this, but the reminder app is actually pretty dope, man. As you can see over here, it syncs up with Microsoft. So if I go over here, it syncs with Microsoft to do. So you can see it on your Windows PC and you can see on your Samsung devices at the same exact time. So that's cool. Another hack I got for y'all is to go ahead and download Goodlock. So again, it's going to be in the Galaxy store. So same exact store that I went to and then just look up Goodlock. So you probably already heard about this, right? If you didn't hear about this, Goodlock is basically Samsung's customization. Oh, crack. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how it is but go ahead and download good lock right there i'm gonna go and click on open and then you can see this splash screen right here so we have a bunch of different options over here so we got sound assistant like i showed y'all earlier so you don't need that but if i go over here to the main page we got theme park so we can go and customize it like exactly how we want to like the app icons and everything else the keyboard or whatever you want to do we got pentastic over here so you can go and customize your s pen and go and change the air command you can go and change the sound of the s pen where you take it off the back of the galaxy tab and whatever you want to do with this you got wonderland so you can make 3d motion wallpapers we got lockstar keys cafe i just recommend y'all go ahead and check all this out because this is a lot to go through like this is a dedicated video in itself another hack i got for y'all it's a quick settings instant access so you're gonna need one ui 6 for this but let me go ahead and show you what quick settings instant access is so when you swipe down here you're gonna get to your regular notifications right and then you swipe down again you get to your quick settings so there's a way to do it where you don't have to double swipe to get to your quick settings here so i'll go and show you that right now so go to your quick settings and then go and look for this pencil icon here at the top quick settings instant access and then go and turn that on so right there let me go and swipe about this you can see if i go and swipe from the right i got the quick settings and swipe from the left i got my notifications so 
just quick access just like that it's cool all right so next step over here we got daily board so daily board is golden and samsung had this for a minute now like with the tab s4 i think it go back to so how this works is if you go and plug in your galaxy tab let me go and plug that in right there you can see that we got the regular screen or whatever else now let me go and zoom in on this and you can see that we got a new notification over here saying tap here to start daily board so i'm gonna do that and as you can see right there we got come on man daily board as you can see right there look at all them fingerprints bro so when you plug in your galaxy tab you get this daily board screen over here which apple actually got with their new iphone 15s or whatever else but samsung had this for a minute now with their galaxy tabs they don't got it on their phones or nothing but it's just this thing where you can go and see all your information here at a glance i can go and swipe over here and get some more screens i got uh smart things over here that i can go and do so that's cool go and manage everything up in here so i got my basement lights i got my tv whatever else and there's just a lot of stuff you can go and do with this you can go and customize it however you want to change the clocks up i got the music over here so i got ymw so he up in jail locked up but you know what it is what it is so you can see i got some different clocks i'm gonna change it to uh i don't know this one so i've been using this one for a minute now so i got this over here and then it transitions over to the weather and then you got the calendar or whatever else but yeah definitely go to check that out also if i go ahead and unplug this i go over here to the app section and we got daily board right there i can go and use this without the cord but you know it just turns on automatically if you want to when you plug it in another hack I got for y'all samsung dex so samsung actually did something weird with dex man so i watched thou you i don't know how you say her last name but she's a youtuber she's like a big samsung youtuber basically and she was talking about this so she actually did a video on samsung dex so you probably already know that this thing come with samsung dex but some of y'all might not know so i'm gonna show you anyway but samsung made a new dex mode where it's just basically like pop-up windows just when you're using the tablet mode so i'm gonna go ahead and click on this and you can see right there now we're in dex I know it's throwing you off, right? So if I go and close up out this, you can see right there, just minimize. And if I go over here to the Play Store, we have these, like, like I said, it's basically pop-up windows, but it's not Samsung Dex. I don't like this, man. So you got this new Samsung Dex experience over here. And then if I go over here to hold on to the Dex icon, we have the classic Samsung Dex. So, oh, hold on. I got to stop that first. So let's go and click on classic. Let's go and hit start Dex. And then now we got the classic Samsung Dex that I, I like. This is the Samsung Dex that I've always been cool with. So Samsung Dex is basically this desktop experience we can go and do like all these windows over here make it look like chrome os and i got email over here i got uh, my files i can do luma fusion i could do all these different windows and like i said it's just like a desktop experience over here so if i go ahead and do this i can go and snap it to different sides of the screen if i want to and there's a lot going on with this man so check this out so if you want to go to samsung dex i'm gonna go ahead next about that so let me go and swipe down here you're gonna go to your quick settings again and then you can look for samsung dex and also if you have the keyboard cover over here let me go and snap that on real quick we can just go ahead and click on fn and then dex right there just like that next hack i got for y'all it's multi-control so i thought i had my galaxy book charged up but oh well but multi-control is where i can go and use my mouse and the keyboard between all my galaxy devices over here so i work with the phone too so i got my galaxy book over here i got my galaxy tab and then i got my galaxy fold so yeah you can check this out here in a second but the keyboard and the mouse can actually work with the tab and the phone over here now the only thing is that this is only going to work for samsung devices so you can't use this with like a lenovo yoga 99 or something like that like i got but let's go over here so go over to your quick settings and go and look for multi-control let's go and click on net and then let me go and hold on to that right there so now let's go over here to the galaxy book so this is only going to work for newer galaxy books so let me go to samsung settings i'm pretty sure that's where it's at connected devices and then we got multi control so let's go and click on that right there and all right bet so cool we got galaxy book 2 pro 360 now let me go over here to the phone and let's look for multi control and that's already turned on so cool all right cool since we connected now let me go ahead and try this out so i'm gonna go and move my mouse right over is it this way I don't know. Okay, whoa, it's connected to my phone. All right, so that's weird. Let me go and move my mouse over here. So you can see I'm moving it around on my fold. Let me go and move it back to my Galaxy book. Okay, so this is dope. I never tried three devices at the same exact time, but you can see I got the mouse right over here in the Galaxy book. So let me go and move it over to the Galaxy tab, and then I got it right over here so let me go and go home real quick and you can see that it's working on the galaxy tab so let's go and move it over from the galaxy tab to the galaxy book and now the galaxy phone over here so that's actually really dope man so let me go and try the keyboard real quick let's see if that works so let's just go to google over here we're gonna just try typing something out so just slamming on the keyboard yep that's working so now let's go over here to the galaxy tab and let's go and do the same exact thing yeah so easy now let's go and do second screen over here so it's just already automatically connected so i ain't even do nothing but as you can see here, it's just going to make your tablet as another screen for your laptop over here. So I got my Galaxy book and it's just connecting by itself. As you can see right there, it's just loading up. Just give that a minute. Let's just go to Spotify though. So let's go ahead and drag this right over here. So, I mean, this thing just turned on. So I'm going to just give this a minute. It's a little bit slow right now, but let me go and move that over there. And as you can see, 
boom, just like that. So let's say you in the hotel room or something like that, like I be, like I literally just got back from Orlando yesterday. And let's say you got your Galaxy book and you got your Galaxy tab. So it's just an easy solution over here. Just go ahead and mirror it up right there. So you don't need no Wi-Fi or nothing. It just makes its own connection. As far as I know anyway, but as you can see here, working good, so cool. All right, so my bad. I actually had the footage for this video and I thought I had my laptop, but I looked at my laptop and they ain't had it and I already deleted on my SD card. So let's just get into the rest of these. The next tip I got for y'all is all the Samsung internet customization. So you can do a hell of a lot of stuff with Samsung internet, believe it or not. So on Samsung internet, Dex mode or not, you can actually see that I got this bookmarks bar right here. So it looks more like a desktop, which I like it most like this. So if you want to see this yourself, go over here to the menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this at the top right. Go to settings, and you're going to go and look for layout and menus, and then it's right here. Show bookmarks bar, and you can turn it on and off. But you also got some other options over here. So I can show my address bar at the bottom if I want to. I can go and show the tab bar only on large screens. I can do always, never, whatever I want to do. You can go ahead and hide the status bar for more screen real estate. Like I'm telling y'all, bro, you can do a lot of stuff with Samsung Internet, including this over here. So show tab bar next to address bar. And if I go and click on that, as you can see right there, it just makes it go ahead and give me more screen real estate again. So that's cool. I also got over here customized menus. So if you go over here you can go ahead and customize the menu that i was just showing y'all so you can go ahead and just rearrange this if you want to you also got some things over here so like if i go over here to labs and i go ahead and turn on use website dark theme it won't actually use your tablet's dark theme so samsung internet be trying to force a dark mode on websites and sometimes it don't look right so they actually got it where if a website actually got dark mode built in it will use that and the last tip I got for y'all is to go ahead and download Kiwi browser that got full Chrome extension. So this ain't sponsored or nothing like that, but I want to go and show y'all this. So this is the only browser I found so far that got the full Chrome extension. So you can see over here that I got return YouTube dislike, and that's why I use it because I can get my dislikes back. But if I go over here to the menu and go and click on extensions, and by the way, you can see that we got this tab layout just like Chrome on Windows and Mac. But you can see here that we got the extensions page that looks pretty much exactly like the actual Chrome app. So if I go over here to plus from store, I can go ahead and go shopping for apps on here or extensions rather so if i go ahead and look through here i can go ahead and download grammarly or something like that if i want to so yeah whatever you want to do whatever you want to use you can put it on here and that's pretty much all the hacks i got for y'all for your galaxy tab so let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below let me know if any of these is helpful for y'all and i appreciate y'all for coming through so let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below and let me know what galaxy tab y'all got in Damn, bro, my dog is going crazy in the background, bro, my bad. Let me just go ahead and end this video before it get all crazy, but appreciate y'all for coming through. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe, but go and follow me on my social media, at Eddie Tech on Instagram and X and Facebook, but Instagram and X are most active. But let me know what galaxies have videos y'all trying to see, because I'm most definitely trying to get into this moment, man. So let me know down there, like I said, but appreciate y'all for coming through. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.